So I'm fully vaccinated, but what does that mean? That means that you've either taken two shots of the Pfizer, two shots of Moderna, or one shot of the J&J. But the question then becomes, should I take the booster shot? Hello, my friends. I'm Daniel Tyler, the Note to Self Guy, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. First things first, if you're still on the fence regarding if you should take the COVID-19 vaccine, then I have a few funny and entertaining and also informative videos that I think you may want to check out. I'll leave the links in the description page. Today, I bring you another public service announcement. As far as the coronavirus is concerned, we're still not out of the woods yet. In fact, we're still in the midst of a pandemic. The coronavirus is no joke. This little sucker has continued to cause havoc in our world. As a matter of fact, it has began to mutate, y'all. In other words, it has called in the cavalry. There are two variants out there. One's called the Delta variant, and the other one is called Omicron. And I have to tell you, what a strange name for a variant. Now, to the question, should we take the booster shot? Well, there's still a whole lot that we don't know about the variances. However, our best defense against them is to take the booster shot. So I took the booster shot for that reason. And ultimately, I believe that taking the booster shot was an act of love. You know, in Matthew 22, 39, God commands us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And you know, by taking that booster shot, I believe that helps to keep me safe and to keep you safe as well. As many of you know, there are three booster shots that you can take. The Pfizer, the Moderna, and the J&J. Now, I happen to take the Moderna. And as a matter of fact, I videotaped the whole thing. Check it out. About 10 inches, what now? First, you clean the area. You want to get to the top part. Just relax okay, your arm as much as possible. Mommy, I want my mommy. Okay, you got to get a lollipop, sir. Oh, thank you. Fit, almost a 55 year old man. That's what's mother, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. You want a lollipop? No I, li I love a lollipop. No problem. Blueberry, please. Blueberry. Yes, indeed. How do you know we have that? Because we have one more. We got everything? Yeah, I didn't know you had. I didn't know you didn't have blueberry. <laughs> we got one, two, and three. three. Little sting, but not too bad. Not too bad. All right, sir. So Is now you get this for 15 minutes, 15 and, I'll minutes. Give you, yeah, and I'll give you your card back with your updated insurance. I mean, insurance. Sorry. Uh, did your, your updated uh, shot information, so 15 minutes. Hello, note to self guy. My name is Dr. Niles Quackenbush, and I was wondering, uh, what side effects have you experienced since you took the booster shot? To be honest, Doc, the booster shot did hurt a little more than the other two shots, but it really wasn't that bad. The only thing that I really experienced was a sore arm, uh, and uh, my body was aching for about a day. Other than that, everything's good. I'm fine. Jolly good. I'm happy to hear that, note to self guy. Do you help? As I said, I believe the vaccine booster gives us the best protection against COVID and any variants that may come from it. Now, it's still a good idea to wear your face mask, particularly if you're in uh, situations where you do not know the vaccination status of others. And it's certainly a good idea uh, to social distance when you can and to wash our hands frequently. Uh, all these things help to make us safe. Now, I got a question for you. Do you plan to get your booster shot? Uh, if so, I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment. You guys be safe, be blessed, and I'll chat with you later.